Now you have to find the man-to-man -man coverage here. I think it's on uh, Buster Davis down at the bottom of the screen. Russell looking, swings it. Touchdown LSU! Touchdown Louis Doucet! Well, but Buster had the man-to-man -man coverage, and Jamarcus decided to go ahead and go the other way and go to beat six. Remember, you want to pick up the first down. That's the big key. So get the first down, you'll have, and then you'll have some shots into the end zone. 60 seconds and counting. Russell has room. Sheds one to the five, and he goes down. That will stop the clock. Go ahead and huddle. You got time. You can call him back. Just go ahead and spike the ball, Jamarcus, and stop the clock so you can... Oh, my. Fans deal with the pressure in a lot of ways, don't they? Let's see how this LSU team does. Well, let's see if he goes back to early due set on a quick slant route or something. He's looking. He fires. Incomplete. A high ball, and Dwayne Bow had very little chance to catch it. So you're gonna, you got three receivers to the right of your screen. They're both going to run the in route. And Jamarcus has his choices. He's got Buster open at the goal line. He chooses to go into the end zone. He tries to get the ball to Dwayne Bow. Buster Davis on that cross from left to right was open at the end strike. Uh, if you don't miss, I mean, you're giving Russell really a lot of time to throw this football. This time they go three wide receivers to the right, and they put Dwayne Bow, the long receiver, to the left. That's man-to-man -man coverage. See if you get the jump ball. Russell throws, and it's through the hands of Hester at the two-yard line. Jacob Hester's not going to drop many of those. I mean, he catches that ball. I think he gets in, in the end zone. He's got the man on his backside. Just hits him on the fingertips. He either gets in the end zone, or he gets out of bounds. Nothing left to chew. Would have been it would have been off of his fingernails, but I don't think there are any left. Like she doesn't have any left. She's just, you know, there's nothing there but tips of your fingers. And next 18 seconds, those are gonna be gone. Fourth down. LSU needs to get to the end zone to avoid a stunning upset at the hands of the Ole Miss Rebels. I throw the Dwayne Bow with the man coverage. That would be my choice. Russell guns it. Caught for a touchdown! It's Dwayne Bow! Touchdown LSU with 14 seconds remaining! Seconds extra point puts you ahead. The worst case scenario you're thinking now is worst case you have to go to overtime, but let's just make the extra point, take the one point win, and go. Russell and Bo have combined for 22 touchdowns, the most in Tiger history. Hotson to Davis with 21, the previous best. What a touchdown play to break it on. That is his 25th career touchdown, two tonight. You know, LSU came back, it was the same formation where you put three receivers to one side and you put Bo down at the bottom by himself. He had the man-to-man -man coverage, and I can't understand, I, I don't know why Ole Miss let him get a man-to-man -man coverage, because he watched to the left of the screen, both man-to-man. -man. And when you do that, you can't stop him because of his sheer size. He's going to get inside of the receiver. He's going to get inside of McBride. McBride doesn't have a chance. McBride is 5'10", 180. Bo, much more powerful. Yeah, he doesn't have a chance because if he comes up too close, Bo's going to overpower him and just run the fade route. If he sits back, this is what's going to happen. Bo's going to step inside, and you get him inside on that 5'5", five 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 wide receiver, uh, defensive back, and it's just unfair. Well, Colt David has hit 77 consecutive extra points. None of those mean a whole lot unless he hits number 78. He's big. This is the ball game. Out of Matt Flynn's hole. Good snap. Good placement. Yeah. It is blocked. After 77 consecutive extra points, Ole Miss <laughs> blocks it. Like I said, the 77 don't mean anything unless you kick this. How much emotion can oh, this goodness. place take? 
And how resilient is this Ole Miss team? Got to be aware of the fact that he's going to try to roll out to get away from the pressure because you know LSU's going to come with the blitz. So the big thing you got to watch for the screen and watch the quarterback trying to get outside to the corner. Third and five. Schaefer is pressured. He spins. Down he goes. The ball is loose. LSU is on it. LSU has shut down Ole Miss. In its first overtime possession, Tyson Jackson came up with a loose ball. Well, Tyson Jackson and he big 77 come running right through the middle like he did the last time. and gentlemen this for the win Jacob O'Hare snapping Matt Flynn holding Colt David kicking Just from 26 to yards away Tigers are winners over the Ole Miss Rebels. A dramatic finish. And the happy final score. LSU 23 coming from a 13-point deficit. Ole Miss 20. Another gut-wrenching loss for the Rebels. But a deep, deep heave of relief comes up from this Tiger Stadium crowd. And as Colt David's extra point was blocked near the end of the game, which would have won it, he connects from 26 yards to win it in overtime.